In this video, we are going to show you a step-by-step -step guide to getting your first Google Ads campaign up and running. We will not only show you how to make your first campaign, but we will show you all the different types of Google Ads and what might be a best fit for you. We're also gonna go over what makes good copy to ensure the highest success for your first Google Ads campaign. Our goal for this video is to allow you to have a better understanding of the Google Ads interface so that you can make it more easy to approach your first campaign and more likely to be successful. But first, let's go over what Google Ads is and how you can use it to drive more traffic to your business. Google Ads is a powerful tool that allows you to advertise on Google search engine, partner websites, and YouTube. It is a must have for businesses of all sizes because of its unparalleled targeting abilities and reach. Google Ads can not only drive clicks for your business, but it can also drive meaningful actions like website visits, product purchases, and even text message and phone call leads. So if you're interested in seeing how Google Ads can be a game changer for your business, make sure that you stick around to the end of the video so you can see every step in the process of making your first successful campaign. So if you've ever wondered what a Google ad is, I can guarantee you that you've seen one type of Google ad before when you look on Google's search engine. This is the ad that pops up at the top of the search results when you type in something on Google's search engine. This ad is called a search ad and it's one of the many different types of Google ads. So let's just do a test right now. So on Google, I'm going to search meal delivery service. So if you see the first ones that pop up, you can see Flex Pro, HelloFresh, Cook Unity, they all say sponsored by them and these are ads. Like I said before, this is just one type of ad. This is a search ad, so you've definitely seen these on Google. So the reason I typed in meal delivery service is this was actually the first successful Google ads campaign that I ran back in college. So I had an ad very similar to one of these and I was promoting my affiliate code with one of the meal delivery services. And for $142 worth of ads, I was actually able to pay for six free months of food. I'll show you that campaign a little later on in the video but I just wanted to point out that affiliate marketing is actually one of the ways that you can use Google Ads. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go set up our Google Ad account. Okay, so I'm going to type in on Google, Google Ad account, and I'm going to click on Google Ads, okay? Now I'm going to click up here in the top right, click sign in, and I'll say new Google Ads account because I already have one, so I'm going to create a new one. And now it should bring you to this page where it says create your first campaign. So we're going to click create your first campaign. Okay, now you want to fill out all this information in here about your business, so I'll go ahead and do that right now. And now that I'm done with that, I'll click next. So once you have your website in, it should review your URL, which it's doing right now. Okay, now that I put my information in, you can see that it wants to link my other accounts. I'm gonna do skip for now. Now it should bring you to this page where it asks your main advertising goal. What you're gonna want to do is go down to the bottom and click view more goal types. Okay, now this will bring up a page where you can see all different types of goals that Google ads will have for you. So the options are here. If you want to maximize purchases, submit lead forms, phone call leads, page views, brand awareness, all the options are down here that you can take a look and choose what's best for your business. Okay, for me, I'm just gonna click on purchases and then we can scroll down to the bottom and click next. Now that Google Ads has brought us to this page, it wants us to create our ad. But what I want you to do beforehand is click these three buttons up here in the top to go to view other campaign types, okay? Sometimes it's gonna auto-populate depending on what your website is, but you wanna make sure that you go view other campaign types. Now it brings us to another page where we get to choose our campaign type. So what Google automatically populates for you is performance max. And I'm gonna suggest that you don't do that to start. I'm gonna suggest that you get good at one type of ad first before using Performance Max because that's really just gonna make a campaign across a bunch of different platforms. So if you click down here to see more, you can see all the different types of campaigns. So you can choose what's best for your business. Obviously display will come across on apps and sites and there's a bunch of different ways that you can advertise with Google. For now, I'm just gonna show you how to do a specific search ad. Let's click search and now we're gonna go down to the bottom and click next. Now it brings us to a page where we can create our ad. What's really neat is it gives you a little thing up in the right hand corner here and tells you your ad strength. Obviously I haven't put anything in yet, so it's poor, but we can kind of go ahead and fill this out right now. It's auto-populated a lot of the stuff based on my website here, but we can go ahead and fix what we need to fix. But first, before that, let's go over what makes good ad copy. The first point is clarity and relevance. You're going to want to make sure that everything is clear and concise and that you're targeting the correct audience with your language. The next point to creating great ad copy is incorporating keywords as well as your unique value proposition. So this is basically what sets you apart from your competitors and you want to make sure that you're using the right keywords, which we're going to talk about here in a second. And the last 
last thing that's really important is you want to have a very strong call to action. So this is sign up, buy now, call now, whatever it is for your business, you're going to want to make sure that it's a very strong action. Another bonus tip here is that you want to invoke emotion with your ad. That's the way that you're going to get the best conversion. You want to make sure that you're benefit focused as well, focusing on whatever that you're going to sell to the client and why they need it. So back to the emotion thing, here's an example of a script written that has no emotion in it. So an example of this script would be try our new organic brand of toothpaste that's healthier for you and safer for the environment. Now you can tell that that's just a plain script and it doesn't invoke any emotion. So here's an example that's way more compelling because you're using emotion to invoke the message that you have. Indulge in the crisp embrace of nature with our organic line of toothpaste. Feel the cleanliness of brightening your teeth and gums every morning. Do you see how that one was different from the first? You really want to make sure that you are getting a response from the audience by invoking emotion. So another tip here is you maybe want to reference ads in your sector, maybe in a different market, okay? So obviously don't copy anything that they write. So for example, if I'm making an ad for my dog walking company in Los Angeles, I'm gonna go on the internet and look for dog walking companies in New York that I can take inspiration from their ads. Like I said, don't copy, but you can take inspiration from these ads that are already doing well in another market. Okay, now that we've filled out the ad, we're gonna go down here to the bottom and click next, and that's gonna take us to keywords. Okay, so keywords are very important to increasing the visibility of your ad online. So let's go through this right now. So if you can see that it auto-populated all of these keywords based on what was on my website. So let's just look at some of them right now. They look good, but I'm gonna take these out and we can kind of edit our own right now. So if you click this question mark here at enter keywords, it'll pop up the keyword guide. This is really crucial because it explains the difference between all the different types of keywords, broad match, phrase match, and exact match. Okay, so for example, for a broad match, something like dog walking would be great. It's general, people are probably typing dog walking on the internet and then my ad has the chance of popping up. Okay, I'll click enter and then now I'm going to do phrase match. I'll do quotations and then I'll do dog walking in Los Angeles. So I'm thinking that that phrase is going to be typed in on Google and so that's a phrase match. Okay, so you can do as many as you want here and like it auto-populated earlier, you can do a whole list and do phrase match, exact match, and then broad matches. The last one is an exact match and that's with brackets. So I'll put brackets here and then I can put dog walker. So play around with keyword research. This is really important to making sure that your ad is seen. Like I said, it auto-populates some for your website, but you can do the research on your own for what you think is best for you. So now that we've kind of learned a little bit about the keywords there, let's go down to the bottom. You can change all of these things here at the bottom. So location, languages, audiences, let's click on these to see what we can do. Okay, now that it brought us to more settings, you can change your location here and language. Also, what's really cool, and you should play around with this, is audience segment. So you can pick a different segment of the market and you can choose based on specific demographics. When you're finished with all that, go ahead and click done. Okay, now that we've finished with that, it's brought us to this page where we get to select a bid strategy. Okay, so we can click the arrow here and we can scroll down to see all of our other options for bidding. So for search ads, clicks is probably the best one that you can use. And then you can click this button here at the bottom that says set a maximum cost per click bid limit. And then what I would recommend here is just starting small. You can change this later on, but I'll just put three for now. And then we'll click next. Okay, now it brings us to the set budget page. Now Google recommends that you spend $70 a day. That's kind of crazy to start out. So I would just go down here and set custom budget and then you can kind of choose what you think is best for you. Like I said, $70 is too much. Let's change that to five bucks a day for now and we can slowly tweak the ad as we see it get better and better results. Now go ahead and click next and then it's going to bring you to the contact info page. You can see my profile here. Make sure to put in your payment information and you can scroll down and then once you're ready, you can press submit. And then sometimes on your account, it'll say for an introductory offer, you get 500 for every 500 you spend. Okay, and when you're ready, just go ahead and click submit. Okay, so now that you've clicked submit on the payment, you can go to the Google ads dashboard and here you'll be able to monitor your campaign. So this is actually the campaign I created in college that got me the free food. Okay, and you can see I spent $142 and I had 44,000 impressions. It doesn't show the conversions here, but I think it was something like 20 orders. That was enough to get me free food for six months. Okay, so go ahead and play around in the Google dashboard. There's a lot that you can look at here. Obviously you can create a new campaign and then they have a bunch of different tools and recommendations to change your ads to make them better. Okay, there's a bunch of functionality here, but let's just go over one really neat tool that you can use to help you get better keywords. So go under tools and then go to planning and then key keyword planner. Here you can go to discover new keywords. It'll bring you to this page, which is the keyword planner. And let's actually just try meal delivery. And then we'll click get results. So what's neat about this is this will actually show you the average monthly searches here. So you can play around and look at all the different keywords that'll be best fit in your campaign. Like I said, there's so many different tools that you can play around with here, but keyword planner is the best one in my
my opinion. So the last little tip here that I have for optimizing your campaign is A-B testing. You want to make sure that you're slowly improving your ad every time, okay? So you want to adjust one thing at a time and see if the ad improves. And that way you can know when to spend more money on it. So let's say for example, I have an ad and I change some keywords in it and it does better over the course of the next week. Obviously if it got worse, I would go back to the other ad and improve it from there. So you want to just be gradually improving on this until you have a really solid ad. That is our step-by-step -step guide to create your first successful Google ads campaign. This channel is dedicated to providing tutorials for entrepreneurs like you to grow your business. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this in the future, leave us a like, hit subscribe, and the bell icon down below for more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.